The Dark Truth – How the Royal Family Makes Their Money In the year 2022, when she passed away on September 8, Queen Elizabeth II left behind a considerable fortune. The source of the royal family's wealth has been a topic of speculation for decades. Moments like Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's official exit as senior members of the firm motivate them. Today's video will reveal how the royal family makes their money. How much money does the British government pay the royal family each year? The solution is not as straightforward as one might expect, particularly given the regal nature of the question. The royal family is compensated with a combination of public and private funds. It is in addition to their existing net worth, which includes wealth inherited from previous generations, a sizable real estate portfolio, and other assets. Before the monarch's passing, the majority of the annual income and costs of Queen Elizabeth II's family were covered by three different sources of funding, the public sovereign grant and the private duchies of Cornwall and Lancaster. Sovereign Grant As of 2012, the Sovereign Grant, a yearly lump payment controlled by the government, has been used to cover the expenditures of the monarch's official obligations and the upkeep of the inhabited palaces. The Sovereign Grant is funded by a percentage of the revenues of the Crown Estate revenue, according to the British monarchy's official website. According to CNN Money, a collection of UK buildings and farms that earn hundreds of millions of pounds each year is a rough definition of the Crown Estate. In 1760, King George III gave the land to the Treasury to be administered by the government. Indeed, the Crown Estate is legally considered to be the property of the current monarch, but as the official website puts it, it is not the privately owned property of the monarch. It cannot be managed to sell by the monarch. Monarch, nor do earnings from it belong to the monarch. Now it is managed by a board appointed from outside the organization. The overall sovereign grant amount for the 2018-2019 fiscal year was £82.2 million, close to $106 million in American dollars. However, £32.9 million was allocated for resurfacing of Buckingham Palace, which paid for the royal family's duty-related travel expenses, wages, and other staff costs and kept the lights on. The civil registry and three grants in aid for travel, communications, and palace maintenance were all eliminated and replaced with the sovereign grant. The civil list was a yearly sum the government used to pay the queen to cover her responsibilities as head of the state and head of the commonwealth, as well as grants in aid from government departments that formerly paid for travel on official royal business and maintenance of royal residences. The Duchy of Lancaster and the Privy Purse in contrast to the sovereign grant, which serves as an expense account for the monarch, the privy purse contains the monarch's actual income. Their estates are also considered included in the privy purse. The Duchy of Lancaster is a trust established to hold the land, property, and assets of the monarchy for the benefit of the king. About $26 million in 2018 was contributed by the Duchy of Lancaster to the privy purse. Queen Elizabeth has used a portion of her income from this fund to compensate her children, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, and Princess Anne, for their participation in royal engagements worldwide. It is unclear whether Prince Andrew is still receiving financial support from his mother. If you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet to show your support. Now let's continue. Duchy of Cornwall The Prince of Wales' private estate, which was established in 1137, funds the public, philanthropic, and private activities of the Prince of Wales and his family. According to the site, the portfolio includes land and properties in 23 countries across England and other investments. According to CNN Money, the Duchy of Cornwall provided 90% of Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles' income when he was Prince of Wales. He used the Duchy of Cornwall's surplus funds to pay Prince William and Kate Middleton and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle before them. The Duchy of Lancaster provides financial support for his three younger brothers and sisters, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, and Princess Anne. While Charles and Camilla enjoyed nearly £22.2 .2 million in income from the Duchy of Cornwall in the 2019-2020 fiscal year, they also received nearly £2 million in funding from the sovereign grant allotted to subsidies for their official royal activities. Most employees and charity work, including the official offices of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are paid for from His Royal Highness his private income from the Duchy of Cornwall, according to the annual review. During the fiscal year 2018 to 2019, Charles and Camilla attended 638 events in 14 countries. They took on 520 engagements in the United Kingdom and elsewhere in the world during 2019 and 2020. As 2020 came to a close, the Queen's wealth began to decline. 
You may be surprised to learn that Queen Elizabeth II is not a billionaire, despite being the wealthiest member of the royal family. The Sunday Times Rich List claims that the Queen's wealth decreased by 20 million pounds in 2020. The paper estimated her fortune to be 350 million, or around 486 million dollars at today's exchange rate. According to Forbes 2019 estimate, the Queen has a fortune of at least 500 million dollars in the US. The value of the British royal land portfolio declined by 1.2 percent to 13.8 billion dollars in 2020 because of the COVID-19 lockout, which impacted tourism and retail in particular, according to the Crown Estate's annual report for 2019-2020. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this one was. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you want to see more like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more interesting facts and stories. Until then, stay tuned.